Wofford College is responding to photographs of students dressed as Ku Klux Klan members. They were originally published back in the 1980s. Seven News viewers reached out to us after the images were shared in an online student publication this year. Our Nikkel Smith looked into this. She's joining us now. So, Nikkel, what have you found out? Well, Tom and Amy, the photo was part of a satirical article, meaning its contents uses humor or sarcasm to discuss certain issues. I talked with students and the school's administration about the imagery and whether it was appropriate. Students are scarce on Wofford College's campus before the start of fall semester. There, there's a level of free speech that you have to have inherent uh, in a community. A community now reacting to an image of former students dressed as Ku Klux Klan members over 30 years ago. That doesn't sit well with me that people would do that. Um, I definitely don't think you know that's something that should be allowed to be published, you know, um, especially from a place like Wofford, you know, it's a prestigious college. The image resurfaced in an online satirical section of the school's newspaper called Black and Blue. It was uh, a Halloween party um, held by one of the fraternities. Director of News Services Laura Corbin says the original photo was first published in a 1981 yearbook. It's um, unfortunate and disappointing no matter when it was published, um, whether that's 30 years ago or today, that there would be um, students participating in that and that that picture would be used in a campus publication. Viewers contacted 7 News after the image and one from a 2005 yearbook were circulating on social media. Corbin says this one shows sorority members dressed as Smurfettes with blue faces, but the yearbook was printed in black and white. One shirt labeled Ghetto Smurf. There were some unfortunate selections by some of the young ladies um, for what they named themselves. Corbin says student publications do have staff advisors. Mostly that's a hands off, it's a student publication, and the, we, we, we don't censor. Students shared their opinions on whether school leaders should draw a line. Is this just like for a shock reaction or is there something deeper that you're getting at here because if there's not then don't put out don't put that out there you know you're just like you're just bringing up pain for people Corbin says she cannot speak to the rationale behind this particular article but says students often revisit history to spark conversation Tom all right, Nikhil, thank you for that. Wofford leaders say the college's student publications, including the newspaper and yearbook, follow the South Carolina Press Association guidelines for college student media.